Okay, so now uh, we've talked about offense. Offense is very important. But if you want to secure a spot in the lineup or if you want to be a very important player to your team, you got to be a great defensive player. You don't have to be the most athletic guy out there to be a good defender. Uh, good defender. You got to be smart and you got to be fundamental, just like in defense or in offense, sorry. So now I'm just going to explain to you the fundamentals, the things you got to know and the, the positions, the attitude, so that you, you're going to give yourself a chance to be a good defensive player. Now, the thing number one, okay, in defense, rule number one is no easy shots. So rule number one is you got to contest every shot. I didn't say block, I said contest. That means if Chris has the ball here and I'm, and I'm here, that's not good one-on-one -on -one defense because I'm not contesting the shot. I'm betting that Chris is going to miss, which is in some cases it's smart, but in most cases it's laziness. Okay, so I want to be one arm distance away, okay? So now, if Chris want to shoot and raise up, okay? Especially now I'm told to him, all I got to do is put my hand in front of him. I don't want to go here, that might be a foul, but if I just contest the shot, okay? He might have to alter a shot a little bit and his percentage is going to go from 40% to maybe 30%, and that's good defense. Even if he makes a couple, okay? You got to look at it, you got to look at the big picture. You know, in one game, if you're always contesting a shot, when it's going to get tired, it's going to start missing. And that's good defense. So first rule is you want to contest the shot, okay? Now, you want to be arm distance away. And look at my footwork, okay? This is the sideline. You, you want both of your feet parallel to the sideline, okay? Because if you're, let's say, this way, it's very easy to Chris to beat me middle, okay? Never, 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 you always want to prevent middle penetration because that gives too many options to the offensive player. He can go to the goal, he sees the whole floor, he's going to be able to pass to the point guard who's open, to the guard on the other side who's open, maybe to one of his two big men. If he goes middle all night, that's going to be a nightmare for your team. So you want to keep the middle away. Okay? But at the same time, you don't want to be like this because now you're giving the goal. Okay? So you want to be parallel to the sideline and you don't want to give either way, basically. So now, if Chris goes left, okay, notice my footwork. I didn't go like this and like that, okay? That's two steps. If I take two steps and if it takes one, it's going to beat me. So if Chris goes that way, I got to hop in front of him going with my outside leg. If he goes to the other way, I got to mirror him this leg, okay? When you're going to be good at this, you're going to be able to take charges, okay? You're going to get in front of him and he's going to hit you and you just fall. But basically, you have to be parallel, okay? And your feet got to be wide. Not too wide, you want to be comfortable and you don't want to be on your toes, okay? If you're on your toes, you're not going to be able to move, okay? I'm almost tippy toes, but not too much tippy toes are not going to be able to move either, okay? You want to be comfortable. If Chris goes that way, always hop with the outside leg, basically, okay? So first, no easy shot. Two, don't give up the middle. Three, if he does beat you, okay, do not give up on the play, okay? You got to try to run, okay? If he has the ball, I don't have the ball, so I'm faster than him. What I got to do is if he beats me, I got to sprint and get back in front of him, okay? If I make him sprint, he's going to have to go harder than me. Chances are somewhere here is going to be able to come take a charge, okay? So... Yes, he beat me, but I'm still going to make him go out of control. Most players, when you put a lot of pressure and you don't give up on the play, they're going to start doing things that they're not able to. Like they're going to try to go to the goal and maybe do a pro hop, but they, don't, they never practice it. So you don't give up. You got to sprint him, okay? Chase him down to the goal. So no middle penetration, no easy shot. Contest all shots, okay? Now, when he has the ball like that, I forgot to tell you, you want one hand to mirror the ball, okay? the inside hand and you want the outside hand to prevent the shot, okay? That's not for a shot, that's called pressure because if he wants to pass to the opposite guy for a shot, you got your hands up, that's gonna be a hard pass. You, you want to deflect passes. I didn't say block passes, I say deflect. Make him just wait, make him just waste an extra bit of a second so that the pass might be stolen from my guy over there and if, if he, even if, if uh, sorry, even if he doesn't steal the ball, is going to be able to deflect it, or at least he's going to be ready to play defense by the time his man catches the ball. 
So you want to be just like this here, okay? You mirror with one hand and with the other hand, you got a hand up, okay? So whatever it does, you want to put pressure on it, okay? You don't have to be too close to put pressure. You can be here, but you got to have active hands, okay? So now, okay, right here. Let me change. When he puts the ball high like this, that's a signal for you to go at him because now, it, see, he turned around. Now he doesn't see the goal. This, as a defensive player, that's great pressure. As an offensive player, if someone does that to you, you got to be strong enough. I'm going to show you as, as an offensive player later on. You got to be just like this. Huh? You make him turn. If he turns, that's great D for you because he's not seeing what's over there. Okay? When he gets back here, you give him that, foot, that uh, arm distance away. Okay? You want to pressure, basically. All right? So, basically, the guy who's playing defense on the ball is very important because it's preventing someone from scoring and it's disrupting the rhythm of the offense. So no easy shot, no middle penetration. Do not give up on the play. If he beats you, don't let him pass the ball too easy, okay? If he does shot, shoot the ball. If he does shot, okay, the defense, defense stops when, see, even the cameraman went for the ball, okay? In basketball, you don't want to go for the ball. When the ball is in the air, you want to still be playing, okay? So the ball's in the air, is witnessing, is witnessing, is witnessing. You want to be the guy who's boxing out, okay? Chris might be quicker than me. He might jump higher. But if I box him out, and I don't let you, because you got to try to go to the paint, okay? If I'm boxing him out, okay, physically, now he can go to the goal. Box out is kind of like a backward defense, okay? You're playing defense backward to the guy, and you got contact. You push him outside. That's what we call box out. You box him out of the paint. Okay? I had to develop box out because I'm not the best sleeper. But when I was playing gas, sometimes I could take a rebound without even jumping. I would box him out and I would walk up to the ball because I was so tired. Okay? You want to be a good uh, you want to be good at boxing out. So those are the, the rules. One, no easy shot. Two, no middle penetration. Three, no easy pass. Four, if he drives, chase him down. Five, when he shoots the ball, don't witness. Box him out. Box him out physically, get him out of the paint, get the rebound, and now you become the offensive player. That's it.